If you've been following along on our Airstream journey, you know we've crossed the country twice over the last two years. While traveling, we received an invitation from a couple in North Carolina to come to their hometown. We learned on this trip that making new friends is one of our favorite things. So, before we end our U.S. journey and head abroad, we decided to detour a bit and head to Silva, Silva, North Carolina. C.S. Lewis said, you're never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream. We're John and Bev, and after a lifetime of hard work, our retirement goal is to travel the world and finish our lives with many memories we've made along the way. We are the Retirement Travelers. Come along as we travel the world on this crazy retirement adventure. We started our week off by checking into our fabulous cabin in the woods. Yes, it was tucked back in the woods along a country road a few miles from town. I think the best part of the cabin was the smell when you walked in. It smelled of pine and cedar and it made the whole cabin feel so quaint and welcoming. Yes, it was a great place to stay. Two bedrooms and two baths along with a loft for extra sleeping. The rocking chairs on the front porch were wonderful. So was the bathtub. It was so special and it just set the stage for a great visit to Silva. Yes, there are actually many cabins around the area and are easy to find and book. After we got checked in, we met up with our hosts, Chris and Glennis Hatton. Chris is actually the chief of police for the town of Silva and his enthusiasm for this town is contagious. He is so proud of his town. He sure is and he has a good reason to be. You know, he we both grew up in a small town and we know that it takes leaders who care about their town and support it. And after meeting Chris, you could just tell he was one of those leaders. Yes, and he has a great town to highlight. He sure does. I mean, the whole county is the fly fishing capital of North Carolina, and they have some great hiking trails. Yes, they also have some great restaurants. Our favorite was <laughs> Lulu's on Main, and they also have a ale trail. And we, with many local breweries that were awesome, we plan to do that next time we're here. We sure do. And oh, don't forget the courthouse. This is the Jackson County Courthouse. I think this is probably the prettiest courthouse we've seen oh, on is, our travels. This is amazing. I'll race you. Oh my goodness. Did you beat me or did I beat you? I think we tied. We tied? Yeah. John, I think this is a Hallmark town. <laughs> this is a Hallmark town. You've got, you know, beautiful mountains, a main street, church steeples, an old courthouse and friendly people. It's yeah. got all the ingredients. All the ingredients. It just needs a love story. That's right. On another day, we got a call from Chris who said that there had been a water release up the river and if we wanted, we could float the river. It was gonna be there in a couple of hours. So he arranged for the Dillsborough River Company to outfit us. They were awesome. Is the water cold? No. 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 I would say that this is about 72 degrees. Okay. Which is a lot warmer than some of the neighboring rivers that are also dam released. All right. Our That's dam is about 28 miles upstream. So by the time it gets to you, it's a lot warmer. It's, it's like it's heated. So it, yes, we like that. Heated. We like cool, but it's not heated. too cold. So that's that's perfect. Yes. And and how long will we be going distance wise? You're going to go five and a half miles. Five miles. Okay. Uh -huh. And, and we have to walk back? Is it? You have to walk back. How's, how's your thumb? I will be waiting for you at the takeout and I'll okay. drive you back. Perfect. We're going to go down the Tuckasegee River. Which is, say it Tuckasegee. 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 Yeah, okay. yeah. Is it Tuckasegee or Takasegee? Tuckasegee. Tuckasegee. Okay, Tuckasegee River. We floated the Tuckasegee River and we thought Chris would join us, but I guess he was out solving some big crime. Do they even have crime in this town? I don't know, surely somebody's up to no good. It was parked out in the woods, keys still in the ignition. All the cops were buzzing from somebody's bad decision. Call everyone you know, we found the evidence. Just don't let them see you when you jump across the fence. 
Somebody stole a beer truck. It don't matter who it was. Grab a can and drink it up. Best keep your mouth shut. Man, we're good to go. Yeah, we hit the mother load. There's more than enough for all of us. Somebody stole a beer truck. I think this is one of the best things we've done this year. Yeah. Isn't it? You can holler at the moon, go splashing in the creek. You can get as rowdy as you damn near want to be. We don't build a bonfire, we don't need that attention. There ain't nobody driving home, not in our condition. Somebody stole a beer truck, it don't matter who it was. Grab a can and drink it up, best keep your mouth shut. Man, we're good to go, yeah, we hit the mother load. There's more than enough for all. I love floating rivers. Okay. Who's your favorite river to float? This one. I, I just can't pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> we should have written it down, babe. I know. Tusca, tu, Tuscachi. Tus, Tuscachi. It's memorable. It's just the name isn't memorable. Oh, that's what labels are for. We will write it down and we will, <laughs> we will get it right eventually. We parked it over here. We parked it over there. We parked it in the barn, yeah, we parked it everywhere. The party went on, all night long, till all the beer was gone. Somebody stole a beer truck, it don't matter who it was. Grab a can and drink it up, let's keep your mouth shut. Man, we're good to go, yeah, we hit the mother load. There's more than enough for all. Oh, I, over. I know. I loved it. I loved it too. This was a lot of fun. It's, a, it's an awesome place. It's an awesome it's place. It's our first trip to Silva, but probably won't be our last. No, it won't be our last. I could see how this could be such a great place to come. Yeah. It's kind of a sleepy little town, but that's what you want in a vacation. Yeah. You don't want mass everything. You want authentic North Carolina. Yeah. And, and this where, is what where, we got. Where we're staying is just perfect up in the woods. It's beautiful. How lucky are we to get to see such a beautiful country. I know. We're getting ready to go abroad and, and this was a great finish. And just like we knew we'd meet interesting people along the way, which we have, and, yeah. and brought us to places that we'd never go before. Thank you Chris and Glennis for a great week. We will always cherish our time in Silva. Join us next week and be sure to hit subscribe.